dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So I've got a new shard and pistol set up for Titania today, meant for the steel path. And honestly, these this pistol build can just handle pretty much everything. So I'll be going over new Titania, and just a reminder too, this will not be the speed running relic opening Titania. This is more meant for steel path. I want to have a build I can bring for Titania on steel path. We're like running whatever kind of mission, so that's the situation today. We're gonna be running a full shield gate and big DPS steel path titanium. So if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit that like button. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Also hit that sub button too. Uh, and yeah, we'll have lots of news videos, build videos, and like gear overviews over the next couple of days, guys. Got plenty of videos planned for you, and I really appreciate all support on the channel. All right, let's get right into it. So the idea of today's video, like I said, is gonna be steel path titanium. Just going ahead and showing how this is gonna work with what we have. We summon in ten manic bombards and ten exogoxtan officers. We're just going to use some buffs here. We got a special weapon to buff our pistols. We throw on the Aphentis. We go near the Aphentis, we activate our abilities, and we can shred steel path enemies with, with ease using our pistols. Now, it's not very AoE, but I'm going to show you how to make these more AoE in a little bit. Here. But yeah, at this point, now we get to shred steel path. We have a fire rate cover. We have a lot of damage types. And we can deal over 100,000 damage in one bullet when we're fully stacked up. So pretty nice, uh, you know, Titania does not normally do this much damage, uh, and we do have quite a few things stacked up here for synergy, so after we shred these guys, let's go over what the situation is here. So yeah, about two bullets kill a uh, level 195 steel path uh, heavy gunner exo Goxtan officer, which th those enemies don't even exist, by the way, those level 195 exo Goxtan officers steel path, there is no steel path railjack, so... Going over what we're doing today, uh, we also have a full shield gate, so I can actually just jump in there and just keep face tanking over and over again. But I'll show you that in the gameplay footage. Uh, so yeah, you'll be invincible too. I forgot to mention that at the end of the video. So here's the build we got for Titania. Now I'm gonna uh, describe every mod here for you, so you know exactly why we're running these mods. The first mod is Brief Respite. When you cast an ability, the energy spent will become shields, and if you do, if you bump over shields, active that is. So the way we're doing this, we have the ability Nourish from Grendel, and the energy cost of this will be 50 energy. With Brief Respite, it will be enough energy to give us a full 74 shields back in one cast. So as long as, as soon as your shield breaks, cast Nourish with 50 energy, your shield is fully restored, and you can face tank damage again. So that's the first thing right there. Oh, did I mention that we're status immune as well because of her first ability? Well, you're status immune too. So yeah, this is going to be a key survivability, so you can face tank anything. As long as you have 50 energy, you can survive. Second mod is Power Drift. Uh, like I said, for the first ability, we have... We're stas immune, so we don't need Prime Sure Footed. We don't need a lot of things in this slot. And this is a build that would be meant for endless missions. So we got Power Drift up here just because it gives you increased power strength. And as far as the other options in that slot, none of them really increase your DPS that much. Besides Power Drift, it gives you power strength. Moving on, uh, the, the way that we achieve this massive shield gate with Titania is we actually are using Catalyzing Shields, this new mod. It's like the old Decaying Dragon you've been played in a while. So I take off this mod, my shields go 370. No way I'm getting that with one ability cast. Uh, and my shield gate is only 1.37 anyway. So if we put this on here, my shield gate is 1.33, and it's only 74 shields. So I have achieved Omega Shield Gate. As far as the other mods, we got Archon Flow. Uh, it's the same thing as Prime Flow, but if you have any cold damage on your pistols or your uh, Razor Flies, this is going to be a little bit better technically. So increase your energy max. When an enemy is killed by a cold damage ability, they have a chance to drop an orb. That will work for your pistols and for your bugs that fly around. So pretty good there. Augur Secrets is a dash polarity mod. If I didn't have this, if I didn't have a dash polarity in this slot that would ruin other builds, I would put a, a normal intensify here. Oh yeah, we got number intensify at the bottom corner. Never mind. Well, it's right the way it is. It gives you a little more shield gate. That the shield gate from this is not needed, but it is a power strength mod. You can definitely change that out for uh, duration mod if you prefer that. We got some more power strength here with narrow minded, and we got a bunch of duration with prime continuity and narrow minded. And the last mod we got is Razor Wing Blitz. When we cast an ability, we get increased movement speed and fire rate uh, for our fourth ability. We're in our fourth ability a lot with this build. We'll get 59% increased fire rate and speed per ability cast, and Umbral Intensify gives us more power strength. Uh, Precision Intensify will not be good here because we do want to buff our Nourish with our power strength. The other things don't really need it as much. Arcanes are Arcane Precision on, on Headshot the Pistol, increased damage by 300%. Very good. And then Arcane Aegis, uh, chance to get uh, Shield Gate for 12 seconds. You could definitely take this off. It's just more of a, I don't want to Shield Gate every single time kind of Arcane. There's other ones too. I wouldn't really re recommend Arcane Velocity though, because we already have Fire Rate covered a lot. Moving on to the Pistol. Oh, by the way, the Offentus, the only reason I have the Offentus, I don't even use this in mission. You throw on the Offentus and you kill an enemy inside the bubble it creates, it gives you Fire Rate for a bit. Don't need to use this. The build also doesn't even matter. It's not a mid-max build. It's my Support Cora build. You can throw in a couple, a couple Impact Procs to get some Energy Regen, I guess, but that will not work in your four. 
As far as the actual Pixias, though, I'm pretty happy about how these turned out. So, like I said earlier, we are using cold damage in a way to proc Archon Flow. And if you don't, if let's say you, okay, and here's the tip earlier. If you want your pistols to be more AOE, you can just put on Seeker in that slot. It gives your it gives your pistols punch through. And I'll, I'll just show you how that works. Uh, and also, yeah, we do lose the cold damage, so you can probably take off Archon Flow. But we have Radiation, Corrosive, IPS. Since I've taken off the cold mod, and we also have less magazine size, we would have uh, six different elements with that. But instead, we have Seeker for just five different elements. Still a lot, because we've got Galvanized Shot. Uh, increased damage per status effect on the enemy. Very nice there. we got Prime Convulsion, the new mod, giving us uh, a lot of Corrosive. we got Pistol Pestilence, giving us increased status chance. And a new, another new mod, Accelerate Isotope, giving us Radiation Damage and Fire Rate. Radiation Damage is pretty good against some armor types. Uh, we're also running Viral from Nura. So we have ri uh, Viral, Radiation, Corrosive, Cold, and Impact Puncture Slash. We have the normal build. So I'm going to show you the Seeker real quick. And the uh, shards right now are going to be the new shards. My new shards up on, on Titan. You might notice I have no blue shards on her anymore. That's because of this. This purple Tau shard is extremely nice on Titania and extremely nice on, like, honestly, most frames in the game. Health orbs become energy orb, like, become mini energy orbs, and energy orbs become mini health orbs. That's in addition to what they already do. So you get orbs on orbs on orbs. You just get energy and health everywhere. You've got two casting speed shards. The cast ability is very fast, good with Razor Wing Blitz. We've got these new green corrosive proc shards so we can fully remove enemy armor with our pistols. But the combination of viral and corrosive is just like my Revenant build the other day. It will kill level 10,000 stuff. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and just resummon them. I've got punch through now. Uh, we could actually, I could unpause them, but I kind of want to see them stacked up. So, okay, now they're stacked up. You will see the punch through in effect. Like I said, I don't know if I really recommend this to everybody, but uh, you know, if you want multi-target with your Dex Pixie, this is the way you do it because there's not many punch through mods. So now we can shoot through multiple enemies, but we are missing a little bit of a chunk of damage here. All right, so as you can see, entire row of enemies just gets shredded. Let's stack up our, our Razor Wing a little bit here so we get some crazy fire rate. You like what you see? So yeah, as far as the survival situation, if you had enemies stacked up like that, you could kill them all in one row. But for me, like for everyday missions, I'd look at the cold and the extra magazine size for everyday missions. But yeah, those are two of your options. Let's get some Steel Path gameplay in here, and we can talk about Titania and how awesome she is, and how I play her way too much. Alright, so here we are on the Steel Path. Now I'm going to show you the Shield Gate in effect. So basically, whenever you see my Shield break in the top right corner... I should be immediately, you should be seeing me cast the Nourish ability immediately. And also, you are seeing me with Ice Storm in this footage. Uh, for a survival, I probably should have had Seeker on here instead, just so I could kill, like, multiple enemies at a time. Another thing I will say, if you were planning to bring this to the Steel Path, you might want to have something, uh, you might want to bring something by just to one-shot an Acolyte, because Titania can shred an Acolyte, but you'll see in the footage, too, when Limbo spawns, li Titania does not like Limbo, or whatever the Acolyte's called, the... The Acolyte that has the Silent ability turns off your abilities. That one's real annoying for Titania because it will knock you out of your Razor Wing. It will, it will, they'll also sometimes teleport you next to them. It's really, really bad. Um, so yeah, maybe bring something to like, take out an Acolyte like a Strofa or something. Uh, but as far as the uh, melees and all that, uh, I don't really, I didn't put on Amalgam Furax body count. I don't think that works with her pistols. If it does, we're already overcapped on fire rate anyway, so I don't even think it would be worth it. So. I was also trying to try. I was trying to test secondary outburst. If secondary outburst does work on her pistols, I could not. I could hardly even notice it. So, I'm assuming secondary outburst does not work. If it does work, just slap that on there. Uh, it wouldn't really. It just do the exact same build from the Baruch build the other day. Uh, even though the glider mods don't work on her pistols, it's not going to change anything. All you need to just do is build up that ceramic dagger in Karnon with uh, mid -like crescendo, and it'd be the same situation. So. Hopefully it does work, but yeah, I couldn't test, I couldn't really notice it. I was still getting yellow crits. Uh, additionally, if you want to take up Arcane Aegis, some other arcane options in that slot are going to be Arcane Avenger. You can run into a wall as Titania to proc Arcane Avenger. Um, you could go for, maybe Arcane Pistolier would work on her, I guess. I, I haven't actually tried Arcane Pistolier on her, but that could, that sounds like it could be kind of funny if it does work. Because uh, a reminder, Titania does not have infinite magazine. She has infinite, infinite speed run, but she does not have infinite bullets. Uh, unlike Mesa, who is just like, the bullets just are appear out of nowhere, Titania has to wait to refill her magazine, so. You know, while we're in the simulacrum, I might as well just test to see if Arcane Pistolier does work. I, I kind of vaguely remember it working. That could be kind of nice. But, you know, at the same time, Aegis is quite nice. You don't have to constantly shield gate. So, as, speaking of constantly shield gate, you look on the screen. Every time that, that shield breaks, hit that Nourish key. You will not die as long as you are paying attention, unfortunately, so. I'm not saying that you couldn't bring a Thermal Sunder build to the Steel Path. People do it. I just would prefer to have my, my Pixias actually able to, like, insta-kill Eximus. And Thermal Sunder is not insta-kill Eximus on the Steel Path. Unless you massively stack it up. Alright, so, um... 
What is the name of that uh, that pistol? Is it Arcade Pistolier? Arcade Pistolier, that's what it's called. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Uh, also, let's get that, that Acolyte on the screen, too. Look at how annoying this, this Limbo Acolyte is for Titania. Okay, so look, he spawns in. Look at how annoyed I am instantly. I didn't Magus locked on him, apparently. I was waiting for him to spawn. I'm like, where is this Acolyte? He spawns in, doesn't get Magus locked on because there's so many enemies in the area. Turns off my Razor Wing. Literally makes me cry. So I have to, like, get out of the area so he can chase me. It, it just it just sucked, honestly. So getting out of the area. The, this is the Titania experience versus Limbo if you don't instantly kill him. So I had to wait for him to come over here. Thankfully, he got stuck. And I was able to finish uh, finish killing Limbo. But, yeah, not exactly the best performance out of Titania on this Limbo Acolyte. So you guys know I'd always be truthful to you on this channel. And I'm not going to pretend that it's going to be more smooth than it is with this kind of crap. Like, oh, my gosh. He's got lots of procs on him for sure. And I can kill him when he stands still. But yeah, he's being real annoying sometimes. Look, he's even going to teleport me to his feet. Look at that. Like, that's just annoying. So, just be aware of that if you're going to be playing Titania. Let's try Arcade Pistol there before I call the video. On Pistol Headshot Kill, 60% chance for uh, infinite ammo for 12 seconds. We're taking off Arcade Aegis to try that out real quick. It probably does work. Let's just see, because, I mean, that could be pretty good for constant flow of bullets. With Seeker, you can just cover an entire hallway. Okay, all of our buffs are up. Oh, it does work. Nice. That's definitely an option for sure. Uh, you're going to have worse shield gate, but hey, we can just spam these shots. Get that fire rate going. Oh, yeah. Very nice. No need to mod for magazine size if you do that. Well, if you want to use your secondary arcane slot on that, be my guess that this arcane comes from arbitrations. Yeah, throw on some Seeker. You got actual AOE on Titania for once. So, yeah, very, very cool. She's a fun frame. I like her a lot. I just... I just don't know. I, I feel like I feel obligated to play her something because she's so powerful. So, hope you guys found this video fun and helpful. Uh, the Pixias are flexible for sure, but I am liking this corrosive one just because it lets you take care of uh, basically any enemy. We got radiation for like ferrite armor, what's called. We got corrosive for the other kind of armor, and we got cold for just stuff in general and viral too. So it's very very nice. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, you found this video fun and helpful. Uh, I'll be on stream in a little bit here doing some Void Cascade and some farming for some new videos too. So I got a really, really OP build guide for you guys on Friday. So keep an eye out for that one. Either way, appreciate all the support. Take it easy. Peace.